Hi everyone! Today we're going to dive into the draft standards for the climate action topic. The draft standards are structured as 10 minimum requirements, and this is the seventh of 11 videos where we'll be exploring each of the topics in the draft. According to latest IPCC reports, the world is on the path to exceed global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius and 2 degrees Celsius within the 21st century, unless deep reductions in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions occur in the coming decades. A warming planet exposes humanity, the environment and businesses to numerous risks. The intended outcome of the Climate Action Draft Standards is that B Corps take action in accordance with the science to combat climate change and its impacts. This topic covers an organization's entire value chain and all people and communities affected by it directly or indirectly. The standard lists specific requirements that must be met by all organizations seeking B Corp certification. First, an organization must track its greenhouse gas emissions annually. It must do this following a credible methodology and cover scopes 1, 2 and 3. Where there are limitations and exclusions, this must be explained. Second, organizations must implement a climate transition plan to ensure their fair contribution to keeping global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. They must continuously set near-term targets aligned with the latest science until net zero emissions are achieved. Apart from targets themselves, organizations must also have established plans and key performance indicators to support their achievement. Progress against these plans, targets and KPIs will be a condition of recertification. This particular requirement also takes organizations with little greenhouse gas impact into account, requiring that they support climate action in other ways. Additional criteria must be met by organizations with 500 or more workers. Third, an organization must have a track record of climate action. Organizations with less than 50 workers are exempt from this requirement. For larger companies, this requirement is where the rubber hits the road on impact. They must be able to demonstrate good performance or tangible actions for societal impact. So now let's consider a couple of questions that may help you navigate this topic. Do you think it is the role of organizations with low or no greenhouse gas impacts to engage in other actions on this topic to support the rest of the global community? Why or why not? Do you think that organizations with less than 50 workers should be exempt from having a track record of climate action? If every business globally met these requirements, would we be on track to keeping global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius? If not, what needs to be improved? If you'd like to add your voice to the climate action topic in service of evolving the standards for B Corp certification, go ahead and navigate to the, to the climate action topic in your survey to provide your input. And make sure that you stay tuned for more videos to come.